The International Reenactment Festival, Nebron Pulbeti, illuminated the economic, industrial, and scientific distinctions of World War II. The influence of its unfathomable heartache and unbearable heartbreak has fostered in people a desire to learn of its history. And through history, we can be the change we wish to see in this world. We are not going to participate in the battle today. Rather, our mission is to demonstrate what and how the Americans were involved in terms of the organization of allies. When it comes to our weaponry and military cars, it is a very interesting hobby and complicated hobby at the same time. Most of the orders come from abroad, which can be pretty pricey. Some of our items we make with our own hands and some are 100% authentic. As for the authentic items, the gun machine, the holsters and uniforms that you can see on us are all authentic from 1942. Although many countries and governments participated in the Second World War, the Soviet Union launched invasions giving start to the largest land theater of war in history. In the spring of 1944, the Red Army of the Soviet Union commenced a counterattack in Ukraine, obliterating and removing the German military's threshold on the area. We are all tired and happy and a little bit cold. We are doing a big show for the people to give them an understanding of how horrible the war was and how many lives it took. At the battlefield today, we predominantly had Soviet Union types of weaponry. There is a very small amount of German weaponry that is still preserved. In order to rebuild certain military machinery, there is a need for sponsorship, historians and engineers. And most importantly, the one using it for reenactment should be enthusiastic in order to revive the history. World War II resulted in a multitude of materials people of our 21st century still use, practice and fascinate with to this day. Such materials are implemented in both government and science, as well as social. Majority of the participating individuals in the reenactment festival have more than a love for history and its endless amount of intrigue, but a passion for its involving people and instruments, the way they worked, thought, looked and touched. The roars of weaponry and artillery, the boom of bombs exploding and obliterating the battlefield. These are not only existent in the memories of the ones who served and the movies, but directly in front of us, the actual places battles took place. To observe one of the most crucial events of the Second World War that took place in Ukraine is profound. For although no death be told in today's reenactment, the idea of peace cannot be kept by force. It can only be achieved by understanding. Reenactment has a purpose to reconstruct the events of spring 1944, when the Red Army commenced a massive counterattack against the Germans. The most important moments of this battle happened here in Ukraine, when the Red Army pushed the Germans out of the territory of Ukraine by the end of spring 1944. The cold and snowy weather conditions that we have today are identical to those in 1944 which has let us experience a reenactment very close to real battle 68 years ago. We used a large amount of military ammunition and people for the reenactment who demonstrate their skill very well. 